Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the newly appointed Bahrain ambassadors to a number of friendly countries. The ambassadors are Muna Abbas Mahmoud Radi to the Kingdom of Thailand, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to the French Republic, and Badr Abbas Al Halabi to the Federal Federative Republic of Brazil. The ambassadors took the legal oath before His Majesty the King upon the decree which stipulated their appointment as ambassadors extraordinary and plenipotentiary. Bahrain's ambassador to the People's Republic of China, Ghassan Mohammed Adnan Sheikho, and Bahrain's ambassador to the Republic of Indonesia, Ahmed Abdullah Al Hermisi, also greeted His Majesty upon their appointment. His Majesty wished the newly appointed ambassadors success in performing their diplomatic duties and instructed them to convey his greetings to the presidents of the friendly countries and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to their friendly people. His Majesty affirmed the important role played by the ambassadors in bolstering cooperation with different countries. He also instructed them to attend to the needs of Bahraini citizens in the countries they will serve in. The ambassadors expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, affirming that his directors will serve as an incentive to continue their efforts to further bolster bilateral relations and cooperation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 84 for the year 2021, amending some of the executive regulations provisions of the law regulating government tenders and purchases issued upon Decree 37 of the year 2002. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Law 15 of the year 2021 regarding external auditors. The Prime Minister and Ministers, each in their capacity, shall implement the provisions of Decree Law, which takes effect three months after its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 16 of the year 2021, amending some provisions of Law 36 of the year 2012, promulgating uh, the labor law in the private sector. According to the Decree Law, the following clauses will be added to Article 39 of the law. Discrimination in the wages between male and female workers in jobs of the same value shall be prohibited. It also stipulates that Article 30 and 31 of Law 36 of the year 2012 shall be abrogated. His Majesty issued Decree Law 17 of the year 2021, amending some provisions of Law 12 of the year 1986 on establishing and regulating the University of Bahrain. Under the Decree Law, the text of Article 11 of Law 12 of the year 1986 will be as follows. The University's Board of Trustees shall be formed by a decree and comprises of chairmen and members whose number does not exceed 12, including the chairman. They shall serve for a renewable four-year term. The decree law also stipulates that the phrase a king of the Kingdom of Bahrain shall replace the phrase the Emir of the State of Bahrain in Article 7 and that the phrase by decree mentioned in Article 22 shall replace the phrase by an Emiri decree. The phrase the Kingdom of Bahrain shall replace the phrase the State of Bahrain whenever it appears in Law 12 of the year 19. 86 on establishing and regulating the University of Bahrain. The Prime Minister and Ministers each in their capacity shall implement the provisions of decree law which takes effect upon its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 18 of the year 2021, amending some provisions of Law 51 of the year 2014 on the regulation of engineering professions. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today issued Edict 40 for the year 2021 stipulating the commercial activities that companies with foreign capital may be licensed to practice. 
The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, opened a multi-purpose hall at the psychiatric hospital as part of the ministry's efforts to upgrade its psychiatric services. The hall includes facilities for sports, recreation and rehabilitation, which reflects the ministry's keen interest in caring for psychiatric patients. The minister praised the application of the principle of social participation through the support of various partners and governmental organizations, along with civil society, through offering comprehensive services. The minister also expressed thanks and appreciation to the participants for their role in establishing this latest addition to the hospital as per modern standards. She affirmed offering all resources to deal with mental health in order to offer better health services in accordance. The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed that the measures adopted by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his directives to launch the National Employment Programme 2.0 has contributed to the stability of the national labour market and created employment opportunities in the private sector despite the exceptional challenges imposed by the pandemic. Upon the Cabinet's review of the Labour Market Indicators report of the first half of 2021 and the developments of the National Employment Programme, Ahmedan stated that the employment rates are expected to grow in the upcoming period in line with the recovery of several production sectors in the kingdom. He added that the Ministry of Labour continues to train job seekers in cooperation with Tim Keen. The minister noted that the Labour Market Indicators report showcased the pivotal role of the private sector in supporting the national economy based on the number of sectors workforce. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, in cooperation with the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, and the Bahrain Insurance Association, the BIA, has announced the optional insurance system for domestic workers to protect employers and domestic expatriate workers following any incident that covers the insurance for insurance. LMRA CEO Jamal al alawi indicated that the LMRA has coordinated with the CBB and the BIA and insurance companies to develop an integrated plan that guarantees the rights of all parties. He noted that the employer has the option to ensure expatriate workers upon their recruitment. The option to ensure domestic expatriate workers or employees will be made available when submitting a new permit application for direct employment or requesting a permit renewal for a period of one or two years. Existing permit holders can also issue insurance policies in line with the exp expiry date of the current legal permit. For new arrivals, the insurance policy is activated as soon as the expatriate employee enters the country. The insurance policy is activated for those residing in Bahrain as soon as a work permit is issued. The member of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Bahraini Calendar, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif Al Mahmoud, participated in a press conference organized by the National Communications Center along with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. Dr. Al Mahmoud praised the royal directives to establish the new calendar for the year 1443 as per scientific standards to determine the timing of prayers and religious occasions and affirmed the methodology of Al Zubara in Bahrain is based on that of Abdurrahman Al Zawawi. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, to discuss a number of Arab and Islamic matters of mutual interest as part of the high-level delegation of the Parliament to Pakistan. The Prime Minister affirmed his appreciation for the bilateral ties with the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised the policies of His Majesty the King in the interests of the Arab and Islamic and Muslim people. For his part, Al Asumi affirmed the keenness of the Parliament on enhancing relations between Arab countries and Pakistan on all levels, including the economic sector, through investment opportunities in exchange of expertise. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announces that 1,111,826 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,059,925 had taken the second, and 162,808 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,015 with 70 recoveries and 94 registered new cases. 32 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 55 are contacts of active cases and 11 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.